Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Extreme Performance Series. Today, I've got a very special guest with us, Pete. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself real quick? Yeah, most certainly. Uh, Todd, hi there, everyone. My name is Pete Keeler. I'm a staff technical marketing architect here at VMware, focusing on all things related uh, to VMware vSAN. And vSAN is one of our customers' favorite products, I believe. <laughs> Um, and the performance of vSAN is also a topic that comes up quite a bit, which is why we're having you uh, as part of this series today. Yeah, so what I really wanted to do was uh, touch on some of the key differences uh, that we've been able to offer uh, through vSAN with the with the brand new Express storage architecture. And, and uh, the great thing about this is we're going to actually see some real results uh, from what the Express storage architecture can really deliver. Uh, but before we do, I think we need to just give the audience just a quick understanding of, you know, what the Express Storage architecture is and uh, what it's able to really offer us. Uh, it's essentially a brand new way of, of uh, processing and storing the data for us, but we do it in a much, much more uh, efficient way. So, for example, uh, we have a brand new log structured file system uh, that it, its primary goal here is, is to ingest the actual data in a really fast way, but then write the data in a really space efficient way. And so uh, if if we look at the animation here, we can see how we ingest these incoming IOs from the guest uh, OSs and, and we manipulate that data in such a way that we can write the data uh, as a really efficient, fully aligned full stripe write. Uh, and that's one of the big challenges of storage in general, right? We uh, being able to write that data in a, in a really efficient way. So the end result for, for us and our for our customers here uh, using the ESA is just much, much uh, better uh, storage performance. Now, uh, we'll certainly look at what some of those, you know, end results are here in a moment. But we want to also look at the fact that because we introduced you know, some new elements in this architecture, we were able to rethink how we actually processed uh, some, of, some of the data itself, how we manipulated the data. Uh, so for example, in any storage system, you, know, you may be doing things like uh, compressing the data or encrypting the data uh, or verifying the integrity of it. Uh, well, in the original storage architecture, that was the architecture used in all previous versions of vSAN, uh, what we did there was is that we performed those processes down near the bottom of the storage stack. So when a guest issued a write uh, and it was using a RAID 5 or RAID 6 erasure code, it meant that those processes had to be performed on each one of the hosts that that actual object uh, existed on. Well, with the ESA, we took an, an entirely different approach here. So now we were able to shift all of those services to the very top of the stack, meaning that when that guest, um, the guest VM issues a write, it's only being uh, performed once, and that's really, and so it's really almost obvious that you're doing um, less work. It's uh, creating less effort uh, to process this this data. It also sets us up well for creating a very consistent, uniform, fully aligned, full stripe write. That's really important in any storage system because you avoid a lot of the um, some of the write amplification that occurs with kind of these what's referred to as a read modify write uh, scenario for usual uh, or for the typical erasure coding. Yeah, so I noticed on your your first bullet on on the first slide said that RAID five and six now perform like a RAID one, right? Which is awesome <laughs> from performance point of view, and and what you just explained. Basically, what you just said basically explains why that's the case. Yeah, it's 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 really an innovative way for us to handle these incoming IOs. You know, when you think about it, um, the an an existing workload will have such various characteristics about it. You know, what sort of read write ratios are occurring? Um, what are the sizes of IOs? Which is one of the most mysterious aspects uh, that any sort of workload um, is uh, generating. Most people don't know what those IO sizes are, uh, but the intelligence of our brand new Express Storage architecture allows us to be able to uh, tailor the IO path to handle these different kinds of 
uh, conditions. And as a result, it just offers us so much more performance uh, as well as uh, capabilities uh, within vSEN. So, you know, I'm sure everybody's interested in like, well, what's the actual result? What's the functional result? So let's look at what uh, just the performance of a single VMDK looks like on the express storage architecture versus the original storage architecture. So here you can see on the right hand side of the screen, we're going to see the effective uh, performance uh, uh, capabilities of a RAID 6 erasure code um, running on uh, vSAN Express storage architecture versus the, the two uh, columns in blue that represent the performance capabilities of the original storage architecture. So here you're looking at something where you, know, you have uh, 2.7 times the performance of a RAID 6 erasure code in the original storage architecture. I mean, that's just extraordinary in, in terms of uh, storage performance and uh, performance improvements. And even something like a RAID 1 mirror, which was generally, you know, sort of considered the way that you would make something fast, even were much better than that. So it's, it's, it's really impressive when we think about the actual capabilities that we're able to uh, deliver here. Yeah, it's amazing to see these fundamental changes that you guys put into place uh, translate into such dramatic performance uh, uh, improvements, which is really great for for everybody. Yeah, and you know, uh, Todd, I'm sure you've you know you, you've certainly heard many of our customers and understand the challenges of any kind of thing with related to uh, performance. It's just not being able to uh, deliver something with high performance, but do it in a consistent way. You know, that's <laughs> if something can be fast if there's no demand on it, you know, but once yeah. there's heavy demand and heavy workloads, that's where it really counts. And so that's where uh, this graph really helps represent the, the true capabilities of the express storage architecture, where we are able to not only push so much more effective uh, throughput and uh, processing of IOs, but do it in a really consistent way. So that long tail effect of that really low latency, even though the throughput or the operations per second have increased dramatically, um, you know, three times more, yet it's just, um, it, we have a relatively flat line of low latency, which is, is uh, really a testament to uh, how the express storage architecture was designed uh, and, you know, how it was actually built. Yeah, I mean, keeping the, the response time or the latency so low, this far out on the curve is a, is a really nice improvement. Very, very great. Yeah. And I I actually liked the fact that this was using this uh, spec storage uh, 2020 uh, simulation because uh, um, uh, it, running software uh, code compiling is extremely resource intensive and you're using uh, compilers that are act, um, oftentimes multi-threaded and they can they can use every bit of uh, processing power that that is given to them. So yeah. uh, this is such a great example of that. One other element that we've seen that also provides so much, uh, um, you know, effective improvement for our customers is a brand new native scalable snapshot engine that we have in the express storage architecture. Uh, for those that may be unfamiliar with, uh, in previous versions of vSAN, we used a um, an old approach known as a, a redo log uh, based approach for uh, our snapshots and. That was ideal uh, in some cases, but not ideal in most case, uh, cases, which is simply wanting to remove a snapshot um, you know, for the purpose of you no longer need it. Well, that involved a lot of merging and, and uh, you know, uh, consolidations and, and it really amplified a lot of IO. Now within the express storage architecture, we, we do this in a manner that's actually quite analogous to what you might see in, in a really good snapshotting engine in a, a traditional storage array. It's essentially you know, a metadata-based redirect on write, reassign on write approach uh, for snapshotting. So when we want to remove a snapshot, it's simply just removing the metadata or, or you know, making some assignment changes. So as a result, we've just seen dramatic improvements. Um, uh, the consolidation process of a, a typical snapshot has been reduced down to one one hundredth the time uh, that a snapshot 
the very same size running on the original storage architecture would uh, would actually take there. Uh, and so this chart here is actually really quite extraordinary because we see the performance uh, degradation of the snapshots that would occur on the original storage architecture over time if you added additional snapshots. Uh, and as you can see, it's a it's a pretty significant fall off in the effective uh, performance in the upper right hand uh, portion of uh, the screen. But yet we look immediately below that and we are able to uh, deliver in a very consistent way, the same amount of uh, performance, regardless of how many snapshots are actually uh, taken. And this is really what the, you know, that overarching goal was uh, to have for a, a new snapshot engine. Uh, and this simply demonstrates that we absolutely were able to uh, deliver that uh, capability in the express storage architecture. Yeah, and snapshots are one of our customers' uh, favorite tools. One of the great things about virtualization is being able to easily take these snapshots of, of, uh, of VMs. So enhancing that ability uh, with o with uh, ESA is great. I mean, this is really something that uh, I think customers will really love being able to, 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 to take advantage of snapshots more with much less impact to performance. Yeah, you know, and it's it. I think in so many ways, uh, what we understood as as we were looking to solve this problem was that you know VMware was was so good in offering that snapshotting uh, capability within ESXi uh, and vSphere, um, but it was ultimately up to the customer to try to figure out well what were their use cases for that, and so. Um, now, clearly, we see that for our good partners that are using, uh, that are uh, providing uh, backup uh, solutions there, they're using it via VADP um, uh, based API calls. Uh, but also, we have customers that are using snapshots for the purpose of some more sophisticated, like CI CD type environments where uh, they need to recreate an environment or reset an environment to a given a point in time. And so, being able to accommodate uh, those use cases was really important for us. And, and this is why we were all so happy, frankly, to see this come out with the express storage architecture. Well, Pete, I really appreciate all this great insight and information you've given us about the new uh, uh, express storage architecture with vSAN. I look forward to uh, using express storage architecture more myself, <laughs> now knowing all this stuff. Yeah, thanks for having me, uh, Todd. And and uh, yeah, let's uh, I try to do this again sometime. For sure. And everybody else, thanks for tuning in and watching this episode. I look forward to seeing you on another episode of the Extreme Performance Series in the future.